Hey, it's Max. Let's open up some cards. Before we do, apologies. I know it's been like a week since my last video, and I like to post a couple videos a week, or try to, but obviously things are crazy now. The world is falling apart, guys. We need to fix this, and the only way to fix this is to keep opening up cards. So I need everybody to keep doing that, and I am going to continue to do that. So I had to move my setup from where it was now that my wife is now working from home, so I had to move this out to the garage, so I'm trying to replicate it to look like it did before. I know I've got a little bit of a hole back there that i got to figure all this out, but it's going to be great. We're going to get through it together, and everything is going to be great. All right, let's open up some cards. we got a weird one today. We're going to open up old school, the hottest card on ice, 1990 Pro Set. Uh, the hottest card on ice is also the cheapest card on ice, but there's a twist. Uh, my brother actually gave me a pack of this when he found out that I was making YouTube videos, and he's jokingly said, hey, maybe you could open this up on your channel. To which I laughed, and he laughed, and we had a great time together. But then I started looking into it. I said, is there any card in this 1990 Pro set, super, super cheap set? I got this box for literally shipped on eBay. It was like eight or nine bucks. So I wondered, after opening the pack and seeing the cards, I was like, is there any card in this set that is actually worth collecting or worth some money, maybe? And in doing some research, I found that there is. There's one card, and aside from some cool rookies, like there's a Mike Madonna rookie in here, which is a nice uh, second place prize to what we're looking for, I guess. But there is, they made 5,000 of these holographic Stanley Cup cards. And they're hand-numbered, and they're awesome. And they're listed on eBay for upwards of like a 1,000 bucks. They're selling for like 200 or so, but in an $8 box, to come down with a potential $200, $300 card, I thought I'd give it a try. So we have the hottest card on ice, 1990 NHL Pro Set. There are so many, you can't feel how heavy this box is. There are so many freaking cards in this box. We are going to fire through this. We're going to get our Stanley Cup hologram, and we're going to party so hard. So, here we go. Like, also, I'm now just getting to the bottom. This is how the packs are in the bottom of the box. Mostly upside down. It's a mess. So, as you can see, an absolute ton of packs here. And there's 15 cards in each pack. So, like I said, I'm going to fire through these. I'll stop for maybe some noteworthy ones. But none of them are too noteworthy. But all we're looking for is we're looking... For the Holy Grail, a holographic Stanley Cup. Oh boy, we're backwards. This is a disaster already. This is Randy Carlisle. What am I doing? I'm already stopping and getting excited about everything. Nice old school, just crazy cards though too. I'm, I'm just going to do this because it's the first pack and I want to point out some of these insane cards. Like that's a hockey card. Like what is that picture? That, like... He's not even looking. You don't see his face. Poor Mark Johnson. He gets his one hockey card, and that's what it looks like. All right. Okay. Now we're firing through. Mario. See, and then they got random ones that sort of tease me. But, like, look, they got the Consmith, and then they got the Presidents right behind it. So they just, it's like someone just literally just tossed a thousand cards into a pack also the likelihood that there are 15 like, what are we doing here guys what are we making that's a card oh i love it so much this is like the most produced set too they ever made so finding this when you hear that there are five thousand of these stanley cups you're like hey man that's that's quite a lot. Like this, there are absolutely more than 15 cards in this pack right here. There's probably 20, it feels like. Uh, but you hear 5,000 Stanley Cups. You're like, okay. No, they make they made so many of these freaking boxes. This is one of my favorites. This one I've seen a couple times. 
What a card. Look at that. Oh, good. We got two 10 cents off your next purchase. Not bad. If anybody wants those 10 cent off cards, let me know. I'll send them right along. As I'm shooting this video, I'm not sure how I'm going to... Normally, I speed through the, the openings of the packs. I may just speed through the packs themselves. See, this is another cool thing about these old school cards. Is you got a nice Chris Chelios on the Habs right there. But then, uh-oh, traded to Blackhawks June 29th, 1990. Oh, well, it's nice of them to let you know that. I have not made a dent in these cards yet. So if you're talking about bang for your buck in terms of quantity, you should pick up one of these boxes. Got the Campbell Trophy. That's not what we're looking for. Like, look at that. That's cool, right? Tuggy. The Norris Trophy. Again, back to back. They love that. I guess while we're just having this time here, opening this insanely big box of cards together, uh, has anybody ever opened up one of these hologram cups? If so, let me know. Oh, boy. Look at that. Unreal. Like, part of me feels bad that I'm just, like, firing through these, but this video would be three hours long if I stopped and watched and named all of these cards. Okay. I do have fun with these, though. This is a mess. Also, like I said, I'm in my garage now, so it's uh, ice cold. If anybody can send maybe a space heater or anything, maybe some logs. Maybe I'll just use these cards for kindling to keep myself warm. I could use all the ones I opened, and that would keep me warm. Definitely through the end of this break. See, like, that's a fun card right on top. Nice. But we are looking for the cup, not the Norris. And also, the, the tough thing about finding this Stanley Cup hologram is the odds of even when or if you're to find it the odds that I, oh, we got another one. Okay, um, what am I saying? The odds of it being in any shape, any good shape, is probably super low. But like I've noticed, a lot of the, a couple of the ones that are listed on eBay are graded at like a five. So, but they still. People are still into them. Look at all these kings. Oh my gosh, we got the Lester Patrick, the William Jennings. And there, Mike Madonna, rookie. So like I said at the beginning, that's a nice consolation prize for what we're going after. I wish you could see the pile that is to my left right now. It's madness. Usually I'm very neat. I know I'm going through these fast, but I feel like we're making a dent. We're getting there. If you've stuck with me this far and you're still watching, props to you. You're my best friend. And also at the end of this, with all these 10 cent off coupons, I'm probably good for like two bucks off. So... I'm almost certain they're not expired. I also know, like, I don't know if the, the hologram is, like, significantly thicker than the other cards. It has to be, right? 
I mean, it's not in here, I'm sure, but it's the fun of looking for it. It's what we all like to do. And this is not a card that I'm going to be chasing, although at this point, with the hobby shops closed and everything, you get these boxes for as cheap as I got them. There's the heart trophy. Not what we're looking for. Um, it's a cheap little box if you're chasing something like this. I'm not making any sense now. I'm in the garage. You probably hear the rats running around above me. We got the Prince of Wales. We got the Vesna. We're, so we're getting lots of trophies. The Lester B. Pearson Award, of course. There's no shortage of trophies. There you go. Again, I think there's a good back to back in every single pack. I'm embarrassed by how long this video is because. Oh, there went a rat. I don't know if you heard it. I don't know if you watch uh, 813 Hockey Cards, his channel, but you often hear his cats in the background. Now you're going to be hearing rats. The Lady Bing. Another back-to-back. -back. Man, love it. The Selkie. The Art Ross. Guys, we're looking for the big one. Not these crazy tr other trophies. Ah, oh, I love him. All right. Sorry. Where are we here? We're nearing the end. We're in the final, like, uh, what does that look like? Ten packs or so? So that means we have, what, like a thousand more cards? I I don't even know how many cards I've opened here. That's, uh, again, I may, I may have opened one of these already, but that's just a cool card. We've got the King Clancy. So I think we've nailed pretty much... Every trophy except... Now, this is interesting. We have Ray Bork, But then behind it, we have what appears to be sort of like a little bit of an error Ray Bork. Worth holding on to. Doing some research. But again, we're looking for the cup. The Stanley Cup. Not the Conn Smythe, not the Calder. Oh, just a stud. Oh, that's another thing I will say I love about this. So many kings. So many freaking kings. Another Mike Madonna. Again, it's not really, I don't know. What am I saying? Scott Stevens, that's pretty cool. Yari Curry, Ron Francis, what a pack. And then Paul McDermott, my cup. Luke Richardson. Trails off. The Jack Adams. All right, so at this point, I've probably sped through the last few packs just because they've been super boring and I'm getting tired because I really didn't realize how many cards were in this box. And now I regret everything. But it's fun. The cards are super old. I don't think we're going to get our cup. However, it's been lots of fun. We got a couple of, I'll recap it at the end. A couple of Madanos. Some other... A couple Lester B. Pearson awards. A lot of kings. That's for sure. A lot of kings. Not complaining about that. I'm going to have to go through all these when I'm done and take a look at some of my favorites. The Lester Patrick. The Art Ross. Not the trophies we are looking for. And we are down to our last pack. Oh, God. No, look at that. Do you see that? The magic. The cards just keep multiplying. And we are coming to the end of our journey. I thank you for coming on it with me. And we will go into this last pack talking about how much fun we had on this ridiculously long journey. But hopefully once I've cut it all down and sped through some things, 
we're all the same age that we were when we started it. The Selkie, the Jack Adams. I'm guessing that's where the Stanley Cup would have been. But it appears that we did not get our Stanley Cup. But that is okay. We got lots of cards. Good Lord, we got lots of cards. The consolation prize, if you will, were these Mike Madano rookie cards. Fun cards. And then what did we also end up with? We also ended up with this weird, in one of our back-to-backs, this weird Ray Bork sort of misprint. I don't know if it's a misprint so much as it's just not printed correctly. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, all right. Well, thanks for watching. Thanks for sticking with me. See you guys next week with uh, definitely another video. And everybody stay safe. All right. Bye.